Hey everyone, it's Tony from Handlebar Workshops. Today I'm in the bedroom workshop, I guess. Uh, I got this nice coat. Um, it's good for steampunk stuff, but to me it looks kind of like a bathrobe. After wearing it for a while and looking at it, I think it comes to the shoulders. Even though my shoulders are fairly broad, this rounds them out a little bit too much. I think I may have an idea how to fix that. First I gotta measure my shoulder to get an approximate size. Got myself a ruler. Jam it up into my neck like this. And hangs off right right about there, which is about seven and a half inches. And then I just want to kind of sit straight on my shoulder. Um say right about there. Three and a half inches. I made the template out of uh, just a thin piece of cardboard out of a beer six-pack holder. So now I'm just going to strike a center line and I can line up the template and trace it out. I don't really need the cross ones there, I just need the outline to cut. I'm going to do the same on this side. So now I can just cut those out. Now I've got two of them. I can glue them back to back to give them a little bit of more stiffness. I already got two more over here. Now I could have just drawn one out, and folded it over and cut it out that way. But these scissors aren't that good. If you got better scissors, they'll go a lot faster for you. So I found some black paisley fabric in Mandy's craft room. This is called the uh, bad side. It's got some lines on it that you might not be able to see, but if you flip it over, it's actually quite nice so over here. You can't see any lines. So I want the bad side up and the good side down. Okay, so we're just gonna lay these right on here and not get any wrinkles. Right smack dab in the center. Sticky side down. Sure. Take off the newspaper because the newspaper's all sticky. So I'm gonna start folding over, pulling kind of tight. I didn't put any sticky stuff on this side yet, but this is sticky enough and it'll be fine. Use a little bit of ES6000 up here to kind of keep things under control. These bigger clamps are right about where the circular part of the epaulette was at. This should get it, everything nice and pressed in. Now it just needs to dry, probably overnight. All right, let's see how we did here. I kind of expected that to happen, but that's all right. Otherwise, it looks pretty good. I'm not too worried about any folds along the edge here because we'll hide that. I'll show you in just a bit. That one turned out well as well. So what I have here is a drapery sash cord. The thing is, is you can take these apart. When you do, you end up with these things here. Got some fancy stringy bits. And more importantly, you get the fringe. So you see where this is going here? 
That's why I wasn't too concerned about having all that the corners and such here because we can cover it up with the fringe. I can have some fringe going across the top like that, maybe a couple lines there, and then maybe coil some of it up down here around the fringe that goes like that. So I'm going to put some of the ES6000 on here rather than directly onto the epaulet. Got to get some clamps and a way to put it on. So I'm just smearing it on there like cream cheese on a bagel. Find the center, which is right here. I'm going to put that right on the glue. Try and walk it right around the curve here. Keeping it as flat as possible. Keeping the fringe out of the glue. Can never have too many clamps. So it's going to go all the way up to about there. Those dry a bit before I move on to the next step. Alright, let's see here. Looking good. Yeah, that even looks better. I look fancier already. So, like these little bits up here, they coil up quite nicely in these little rosette type things. Now just glue that down with a little bit of E6000. Same on this side over here. Took some pieces of wood and put some packing tape on one side and used some cheap clamps to clamp them on like that. Now on the bottom here, we get these longer ones. Let me get one that goes this way and one that goes this way. Kind of like that. We've got kind of the little hoopy ends. Those are going to face that way. These are facing that way. So we're just going to line it up like that. And to attach it to the coat, I'm going to take some Velcro and just hand stitch it to the coat. And then just using some more E6000, I glued the other side of the Velcro to the backs of the epaulets. Yeah, they don't look the best on this side, but no one's going to see them anyway. And here they are, on my shoulders where they belong. I think it looks a lot better this way. So that's about it. Um, maybe give it a thumbs up and uh, maybe subscribe if you like the video. We've got uh, new content coming out that's similar to this, more steampunk stuff, some more woodworking. Uh, so be sure to check back. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.